Hello, Sonder family. Welcome. Who is ready to color? <laughs> we need, we need kind of this. We're almost to the end of the week, right? We need to reset and take some time. Hey, Leanne, yay. Um, I am so glad to see you. My name is Jennifer Ogilvy, and I'm coming to you from Garland, Texas, which is part of the Dallas uh, Fort Worth area tech uh, uh community in Texas. And I'll be your facilitator tonight. And joining me on the call, you guys have team Jennifer. Um, Jennifer is at her happy place. You could see that beautiful cabin in her background. And she is the facilitator that will be monitoring the chat. If you have any questions, let Jennifer know, and she'll point you in the right direction. Um, oh, and I, I'm seeing some chat. Colorado Springs, I'm heading there in a few weeks for vacation, and I'm so excited. Um, so anyway, welcome. I love to color with the Sonder family. So let's let's dig in. You guys, um, is there anybody who is here for the very first time, very first time to color with us? Please drop a me in there so we can give you a very big welcome. Oh my goodness, we have lots of first timers. Welcome, you guys. You are going to find out that this is so good for your brain. There is a lot of science behind adult coloring and it kind of triggers different parts of our brain to settle cortisol to help um, calm down and and we sort of go into this mindfulness state that we would experience um, through something like a yoga practice so this really is a practice of mindfulness that's going to help you reset give yourself this time you've carved out time to to join other colorers um, so welcome especially to our first time coloring friends. Uh, I hope that you just find this to be as wonderful as I do. Um, at the beginning of our socials together, we do like to post the community guidelines just to, got, to remind everyone that this is a safe space. And, um, you know, we want to respect everybody's privacy, but also take care of yourself as you are going through, um, you know, whatever we're doing at the social. If something hits, just sit with it. Let us know how we can support you. This is a, a wonderful, um, supportive community. Um, so you know that this month's theme is loyalty. I'm going to speak to that a little bit more in just a second. Um, I think we're going to really learn a lot about ourselves through the lens of loyalty, especially loyalty to ourselves. I've always thought of loyalty as um, maybe who I am to other people, that person that can be counted on. But I love digging into am I loyal to myself? Am I putting myself first? Am I taking care of myself and being the very best version of myself? So loyalty is kind of a neat theme to really um, get to know ourselves better. So we're going to start this evening. I do, I'm going to have a couple of slides I want to show you with some tools because I know we've got a lot of new members of the Sonder family and I thought um, that would be beneficial information for you to have. But after I share those, we're going to have an opening activity. We're going to color. I play lots of beautiful soft music so that you can just chill and relax. There is no right way or wrong way to color. It's more about the process. Now, we do like this beautiful finished product, right? I mean, that's just kind of how we're wired. But truly, the benefits of this time tonight are going to be the process of sitting with yourself and coloring and directing your attention to that page. And again, no right, no wrong. There, It, it just is. It's a very neutral thing to do. Kind of like if you're in yoga, you do what your body says is, is safe and healthy for you to do. Um, so you, you bring to the table what you are able to. And, um, and then we will, we'll close our evening out. So if you're brand new, you may want to grab a screenshot of, um, pen, this slide, this, these are pens and markers that have been recommended by our Sonder family as to, um, how they work on our pages. Um, most of these, I think don't necessarily bleed through as terribly as some other markers. Um, so I, I've watched over the months and months of what folks post and I've 
put all of that together here. So we've got our pens and markers here, all in alphabetical order. And this is something um, that came from our wonderful Sonder family sharing in our Sonder Club app. Alrighty, and then the next slide I want to share with you is our colored pencils um, that folks use. And there's basically three different types. There's the wax-based colored pencils. Um, those are going to be, you know, more of your artistic type uh, tools that you'll find in, in, in the art departments, um, as well as the oil-based colored pencils. And so these are, again, um, the recommendation from um, Sonder family members who have uh, some, some folks are very artistic people and they know exactly what are the best tools to use. And I, I personally, I color with Prisma color colored pencils. That's, that's my weapon of choice for my page, but there are also some other um, great brands there. And then the very bottom part is the water soluble watercolor colored pencils. And, um, you know, but there's nothing like just, just, you know, good old fashioned, you go buy it off the drugstore rack to color pencils. Um, I like the Prismacolor. They, they've got that waxy and they're just a little smoother. So hopefully um, these two slides will help you as you're looking for ways to enhance, not just uh, co the coloring pages, but even working in your journal, your weekly setups, highlighting, tracing around boxes. I'm personally not a sticker person, but I will use my colored pencils to add a little pizzazz to my weekly setups. So I hope that you found um, this information helpful. So I want to start now with our opening activity. And I want to talk about the color of our monthly theme the color of loyalty. And I'll give you a hint. I'm wearing it. Um, I discovered that when you think of loyalty, the color blue is what um, it, it represents. Okay. Repre blue is a the loyal color. It is the color of trust and loyalty. It has a calming and relaxed relaxing effect on us. It gives us peace. It makes us feel confident and secure. And I love how this is written. It dislikes, <laughs> blue dislikes confrontation and too much attention, but it is an honest, reliable, and responsible color and you can always count on its support. And I love that. Blue is one of, I have the, um, one of my bedroom walls is painted blue. I find it to be a very calming color. And yes, okay, Nathania, she painted her office blue for that very reason. So you can start thinking about, maybe even look around your room and look at the things that are blue or think of the blues that you wear um, and they, you know, the symbolization of that, that loyalty. So now I want to take this a next step since we're talking about the, yeah, true blue. Exactly, Jonna. Um, those sayings, yeah, out of the blue. Um, so blue is the color of relaxation and peace. I want you to think of that big blue sky or a body of water. And that it, you know, when you need to relax and unwind, it's, it's helpful to think of the color blue. And it can also be useful when you need to clear your mind. And maybe that's that instinct that we have to like, I just need to go outside for a minute, right? Take a break, get under that blue sky. Now the complementary color, if you're looking at the color wheel, the complementary color across from it is orange. So think of the, a sunset the very end of a day. And we're going to do a quick breathing activity, embracing this loyal color. As you breathe in slowly and with intention, imagine that color blue entering your solar plexus, this part of your body above your tummy, and then spreading throughout your whole body, that, that sense of peaceful sky, peaceful water. And then as you breathe out, we're going to visualize blue's complementary color, letting go that orange. You just think of the orange leaving your body, kind of like our day is leaving us with that setting sun. I'm going to put on 
just a few moments of music and I want you to sit and breathe deeply and with intention, imagining the blue entering your body and then letting go with its complementary color, orange. And I'll be right back to check on you. Great job taking just a moment to recenter from the day, breathing in that beautiful color of loyalty, exhaling its complementary color. Hopefully, you're feeling a little more settled now and you're ready for coloring practice. So, here is the color wheel so that you can see. Um, how color families can be created. You can see there's the blues and they are um, the blue, blue violets kind of across from the oranges. Um, I'll bring this slide back if you want to figure out, you know, maybe some complementary colors to use in your practice this evening. But again, there's no right or wrong way. It doesn't have to have an end result. I did want to share a couple of fun things before we begin. This is from one of our Sonder family members, and she said, I'm having so much fun with this month's coloring page. I decided to color it with intent to invert the colors using my phone software. So she's got an app that will invert, make a negative of uh, pictures. And so it, she's making sure that she's choosing colors from the opposite side of the color wheel. And this was her progress so far. And I thought that was really cool. Um, I don't have that stuff on my phone and I'm probably not going to take it to, to this step. But I thought, oh, Carolyn, thank you so much for posting this. Okay, so Carolyn's here with us. Carolyn, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. And I just, I, you know, talk about commitment, but I love how you are leaning into using those colors. So I thought it was definitely worth mentioning. No, thank you for posting. <laughs> we love it. So there's Carolyn's page in progress. I know it's a great idea if you really want to take it to the next level. Now, this one is one that I did. And, and the reason I posted it, especially for those of you who are brand new and maybe haven't seen this kind of technique before, sometimes coloring can be really tough on fingers, you know, and, and you get tense and your hand hurts, that kind of stuff. So one of my tips is maybe, especially when we have a picture like this, it's so easy. You can make a crisscross or a T. And um, I took four complementary colors. These, this is a, a quad that works together and used that. I colored each section in broad strokes, which is a little bit easier for um, hands. If you, if your fingers bother you from 
you know, too much attention. Um, I have arthritis, so I have great days and not so great days. And, uh, and so this is always a great way for me to color without having to get too detailed. And then when I have a better day, I can go back and do what I did on the right and just pop in some uh, deeper colors. And this allows me an opportunity to also practice laying down layers and kind of going with me, you know, a light shade, a medium shade and a darker shade. Cause I'm not an artist, but I do like to kind of experiment and get better with these pencils all the time. So that's also a suggestion. And then finally, just some inspiration from more of our Sonder family. This is, um, I love when we get florals, just personally. I wanted to mention the one that's there in the middle. Don't, I love using that negative space. Um, in a little bit, I'll throw some quotes in about flowers that really have a loyalty theme to them. If you wanted to write some quotes around your coloring this evening, um, just to kind of add to uh, the page and to bring home that loyalty. So I'm going to quit talking now so that we can get going with our practice. Feel free to share in the chat how you're feeling, what you're noticing, how you're going to start off this evening or any other questions that you have. But again, um, this social is pretty special because it really is about your mindfulness practice. No right or wrong. Focus on that process and remember to breathe.
as you continue to work on your practice, you should start noticing that you have shifted gears. You're a little more focused on your page and you've kind of left the day behind. Um, I'm going to scroll over to another slide just to show you some quotes that have to do with flowers, but I also thought resonated nicely with our theme of loyalty. And um, I always like to think of ways to use the negative space around um, our coloring page. So all those edges. So I encourage you to maybe think of if you want to use colors there or maybe some quotes or some thoughts that you have on loyalty as you're digging into that this month. Um, again, just a reminder, be sure that you're taking deep breaths, you're trying, you know, your shoulders are relaxed um, so that you don't get, this is not supposed to be a, a stressful time. And we'll get back to some music.
I hope that you have found some escape through your practice this evening. Thank you so much for joining Team Jennifer. We'd love to see your page on Sonder Club. Um, also, there's those very important QR codes. Um, the one for referring a friend will where they will get $10 and you'll get $10. You can scan that QR code in, and you can also share your feedback with the QR code that's there on the right. You will um, additionally receive a follow-up email for, for um, this social, and I am going to, let's see, I'm, I'm trying to find my, I want to share my playlist with you guys. 
So here's the playlist. Jen has dropped all the links to getting to see social recordings, um, to download the app, and as well as the refer friend and sharing feedback. And then here is my Spotify. By playlist. It is on Spotify. So um, you'd have to be a Spotify person to be able to access it. But if you want to listen to a bunch of slow, beautiful, flowery tunes, there they are for you. Um, you can go get it and listen again and sit in color some more. Um, I hope that you guys have a great rest of the week, that you um, end up embracing the weekend, that this has been a good reset to finish Friday strong. I'll be doing setups um, Saturday night and Sunday night. So I hope I see you guys there so we can get ready for the new week. Um, thank you for being here. I love sitting <laughs> with you guys in these coloring socials um, and just have a great day tomorrow till I see you next time. to me.